Hey guys, what? Hey guys, Silver so Kitchen Targets here. Welcome back to Mikoto Niko. Ne Mikoto Niki. So, last time, we did stuff. We got Dire Scrap 14. My birthday is the key. And we're still trying to figure out what the hell that means. So, Mikoto Niki, I turn it on. It looks like a 3 digit password. Please enter your password. Um. Oh! I didn't know. I thought. I didn't know. I just guessed the birthday and then, it got, and then I got it. <laughs> yes! I'm a genius! <laughs> Signing in. Date. My name is Takashiki Minkoto. I live with my mom and dad. My dad's a business son. I really, really plan one at that. He's so incredibly average, it's scary. He plainly found. He plainly found a job, plainly fell in love, plainly got married. Plainly cheats on his wife, plainly goes about his daily life. In other words, he's just a normal, completely unex unextraordinary, unextraordinary father. My mom works too. She's not around too much. She makes more than my dad. She won't tell me what she does. I think she tries to stay out of the house as long as to possible to avoid dad's drunken rampages. Well, this is a very dysfunctional family. I know how she feels. I really wish I could run away too. But if I left... I doubt my dad would even be able to feed himself. Date? Question mark? Question mark? I'm keeping a diary. I think it's true. I think the true value of a diary comes out to when someone else reads it. Right now, you're reading the thoughts that I've never shown to others. I think I wrote this because I wanted someone to help me. Date? Question mark? Question mark? I'm currently keeping two under surveillance. They they seem to have changed quite a bit since last week. They resisted at first, but now they're actually afraid of me. I cook their food, I don't give them chopsticks, they eat with their hands. I tell them that that's just the way that we do things around here. Take question mark, question mark. I try teaching them something. After all, teaching people helps me improve as well. You know them took it seriously at all. They didn't pay much attention to what I said. You're a demon child, they yelled at me. So I punished them. I let them go a week without any food. Okay. When I went to check up on them, dad was dead. Mom was wasting away. She no longer had the energy to cry, or even glare at me. When I called out to her, she didn't respond. Date question mark question mark. I think I was trembling in my bed. I was scared and thinking why my, that I might have gone past the point of no return. I. It looks like it ends here. Looking closer, there's something stuck on the bottom of the keyboard. It's a torn diary scrap. There's no turning back now. You want to know my secret, don't you? I'll tell you. Just open the door. The entry is here. I'm a close expression. Something written in the back and it's open. You get to script 15. What? So she knows. She knows that I've been reading it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's open. Wait, the closet? The closet door seems to be open. It's pitch black inside. I can't even see what's at my feet. It might be, it might be best if I've gotten something to light it up before going inside. Go inside. Yes. Inside the closet. Turn on the flashlight. What? Lying inside the closet are several unidentifiable corpses. Um. Uh. <laughs> Walk away. I think I should probably just pretend I never saw any of this. Leave the closet. What? What are you doing, Mataro? I'm pretty sure I asked you not to go into my room. So you saw it, huh? My secret. Mataro, are you shaking? It was hard for me, you know? 
Will you listen to what I have to say? Listen. Thanks. Well, when I was little, I wasn't the kind of girl who could who could do it who could do anything like I am now. The old me was nothing like the people I think I am now. I was the kind of girl that everybody wanted to bully. I looked really shabby. I was always super gloomy. And I was dumb and easily fooled. Even mom and dad gave up on me. You really can't do anything, they told me, over and over, day after day. Oh, that's sad. If I tried hard, I really tried. I tried hard. I, re I tried really, really hard. Even if my friends and teachers were already a lost cause, I didn't want my parents to throw me away. After a long and hard day... After a lot of hard work, I eventually got to where I am today. The old me no longer existed. I had thrown it away by changing myself. I changed everything. Wait, why is that in gray text? About me. Both my attitude and appearance became bright and cheery. I was loved by everyone. No one would bully me anymore. That's what I thought, but mom and dad still wouldn't accept me. They still don't understand me. Even though they said I worked so hard, they still said they accept They w They wouldn't accept me. <laughs> so I thought maybe I should try giving them a proper upbringing. I thought if I worked my butt off to raise them with plenty of love, they would become good kids. So I took care of mom and dad every day. I gave it my best every single day. I made so much yummy food for them. There would eventually be a day when it came to, around to understand me. I truly believe that. But I messed up. Mom and dad went cold. It was almost as they stopped reading altogether. There was no point to it anymore. It was beginning to wonder if I was going to be living anymore. But then Yukimaru showed up. He told me he liked me. So I thought maybe he would be able to understand me. But Yukimaru, he found out about my secret. And it scared him. He tried to run away, and I caught him. I had a feeling that things were getting out of hand. It was scary. So I got Yukimaru to stay here with me. Forever. Like mom and dad. Matoro, are you going to run away too? <laughs> Hugs are best. Squeeze. Huh? Matara, what are you doing? I am a murderer. If you stay with me, you're gonna probably gonna end up getting killed. You're not going to run away? Matara. Matara, I really screwed up big time. What should I do? If I lost you, I'd be all alone again. And then, then, I think I'd end up where Mom and Dad and Yukimaru are. So I can apologize. I have to. Are you telling me I can't? Forgive her. If you're for you forgive me, Matoro. You're going to forgive me, Matoro. I'm a bad girl. I just want Mama Dad to praise me. I want. I just wanted them to tell me I was smart for working hard. That's all I wanted. How did it turn out this way? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. Mikoto was crying. I stayed silent, simply holding her tight. I don't know if in that moment I was able to give her the true understanding she so desired. I stayed with her the whole time. I figured time I figured time would heal her heart. It's snowing! Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I know, let's make a snowman! I used to have a lot of fun making snowmen and igloos back in the day. Every day I would stay up playing until it got dark. My hands and feet would be so cold. I know that feeling very well. Even though I haven't been in snow in forever. <laughs> but warming up my hands by holding them by near the stove was the best feeling in the world. I was always playing by myself, though. I really wanted to have a snowball fight with someone, too. I have you to play with. I'm not lonely anymore that you're, now that you're here. After that, Mikoto bawled her eyes out. Day after day, she kept crying. I never gave up on her to make sure I didn't kill. To make sure she didn't kill herself, I was always by her side. And then it finally came the first winter since we met. Mikoto was slowly regaining her happiness. I was able to see her smiling face again. Thank you. 